hey guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here you're very welcome and if it's not your first time thank you for always stopping by my name is oluchi and in today's video i'm going to show you how to apply your hyaluronic acid and vitamin c basically how to combine both of them to get the most out of this product the vitamin c i've got here is from the organic pharmacy so the hyaluronic acid i've got here is from the ordinary and is a marine hyaluronics the first thing you want to do is to make sure you cleanse your face use the cleanser of your choice for me i use use the simple moisturizing facial cleanser so you cleanse your face first and then you can tone your face that's very optional i do not tone my face every day then proceed to applying your serums there are some serums that are oil based and some are water based especially for your vitamin c but this one here is water based and if you've got an oil based vitamin c you want to use it after you've used your hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid is water based so use water based serums before oil based serum then in this case since both of them are water-based what you want to do first is to check what one is lighter in consistency so i'm just going to you know show you guys put it behind my hands i know already what one goes first because they're mine i use them frequently just going to test and show you what one you know is more liquidy so the one that is runny would go before the one that is thicker in consistency so then this is the marine hyaluronic acid i've done a review on this i have the two hyaluronic acids from the ordinary this one is the one with the lighter consistency i'll be sure to link everything in the description box below if you're you know wondering the particular hyaluronic acid that it's best for you so this is what it looks like you want to you know put it here can you see how the consistency is it's quite runny it's very liquidy compared to the vitamin c so this is the vitamin c here can you see i don't know if you guys can see this yeah can you see it's taking its time to go down so clearly i will always begin with my hyaluronic acid in this case and you want to use a few drops i'm not going to use the entire pipette i'll just use like one two three four drops because this is very runny you can dispense it on your face or on the palms and then i'm pressing it onto my face and then my neck and chest area those are the areas you want to press it in so after doing that, what you want to do is to wait a little while for everything to absorb in. You don't want to go straight to, you know, applying your vitamin C and all that. You're not going to get the best out of it. So now I've applied it, I'm going to wait a little while. And when my face is no longer tacky, because now it's slightly tacky, I will proceed to applying the vitamin C. So, so now I can tell that my face has totally absorbed the marine hyaluronic so the next thing i'm going to do now is to proceed with my vitamin c and then let me mention this you do not need to put the pipette on your skin do not do that otherwise you'll be introducing bacteria from your face onto the bottle and nobody wants that at all so you want to take your serum like so you do not need the entire pipette of this just like three drops will do and that's it three drops to do especially if the consistency of your serum is really thick then you need less if it's very runny you need more i've dispensed it onto my palm gently pressing it onto my skin like so on certainly not forgetting my neck area you always have to your skincare products on your neck area and then your chest because uh, they all need that tlc it's a 15 percent vitamin c serum like i love me vitamin c because vitamin c serums are really good because it helps to fight free radicals it helps to brighten the skin it's just amazing like it's something that is good for everyone you know it leaves my skin with that so good now i'm done applying the vitamin c as usual i would also wait a little while for everything to absorb into my skin for my skin to get all that goodness in before i proceed to the other steps next step you want to do is to go on to applying your moisturizer your facial moisturizer this is after you've waited for the vitamin c to sink into the skin you know you go on to apply your facial moisturizer do not go straight and apply your facial moisturizer when your face is still tacky when your face is still damp with the vitamin c otherwise you're not going to get the full effect of the vitamin c it's just going to be really diluted nobody wants diluted products it's just going to be a waste of money waste of products and you will not see results quickly you know what i mean so after applying your facial moisturizer you must certainly apply your spf you cannot afford not to apply your spf like 
it's non-negotiable because you know the vitamin c ten, uh, the vitamin c makes the skin really photosensitive so it's the like you want to protect the skin otherwise like if you don't apply your sunscreen it's just going to be a mess it's just going to be like you know imagine building a beautiful house and then you do not have a roof over the house imagine what will happen when rain falls and when sun shines and when so the spf of my choice is the la roche posay spf and it's just amazing like i love this spf because i like how it's you know clears and yeah it's been very helpful and then if it's night time you keep using the spf so i'll go through the steps once again so the first thing you want to do is what you want to cleanse your face with the cleanser of your choice proceed to tone in your face which is very optional the next step is to use your hyaluronic acid i waited for it to absorb then i proceeded to applying the vitamin c you let the vitamin c absorb fully into the skin then you want to proceed to applying your moisturizer after your moisturizer your spf but for night time you skip the spf you just end with your moisturizer so if you don't know hyaluronic acid has everything to do with hydration vitamin c is anti-aging it's an antioxidant it helps to fight off the free radicals it just it's an amazing skincare product it's brightening it helps even the skin tone and you know i can go on and on and on reviewed a few vitamin c's on my channel i'll be sure to link everything in the description box below so yes i believe that's all i have for this video i hope you found this video really helpful if you did do let me know in the comment section below if you're yet subscribed to my channel kindly do so because it would definitely mean a lot to me and with all that being said thanks for watching and i'll catch you in my next one bye